Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, the graph of the function f of x equals f of x minus 2 squared plus 6 is transformed into the function g of x equals negative 5 x minus 2 squared minus 6. Which of the following statements is true? Okay, so they are giving us two functions. There's one on the very top. And it says that it was transformed into the g of x, which is down here. And now they want for us to find a true statement. Something that is true about both of them, right? So what about if we analyze them before we actually look? And we can write them down over here on the bottom just so that you can compare how are they equal or how are they different? How are they similar, right? So let's write down the first one. So it says f of x is equals to 5 parentheses and my g of x, I'm going to write, I left a space just so that we can kind of write something about both of them. And I'm going to write down the second one here. Okay, so what's the first thing that we notice about these two functions? Well, I can tell since this one is positive and this one is negative, I know they're not going to be facing the same way. The first one is going to be upward and the g of x is going to be downward. That's the first thing that we notice. Is that right? Now, after that, I do notice that inside the parentheses, both of them have a minus 2. So what does that mean? A minus 2 means that this number over here is going to go in the opposite direction of what it says in there, right? So we have a minus 2. Therefore, this one is going to go two units to the right and this one also goes two units to the right okay we haven't talked about the five which is a coefficient okay we're going to come back to that in a minute and then i do see that they this one has a plus six and this one has a minus six so what is that gonna how is that gonna affect it well the plus six means that my function is actually six units up or above the origin, if you want to think about it like that, because this means that it goes six units up and this one is six units down. But notice how it's going to be at the same line of my uh, problem, right? Okay, so what am I missing? What about the five that is outside? Notice how this is a five. Now, I am not going to say that this is a negative 5 because the negative I already took care of that by saying that it's either upward or downward the 5 basically tells you that how wide is going to be your function okay now remember if the coefficient a which in this case is a 5 if that is greater than a 1 it means it's going to be very narrow is that right okay so let me write down the word over here narrow but neither one uh, will be more or less narrow than the than each other. Why? Because they both have five, okay? So even though one is going to be facing upward and the other one will be downward, the wideness of both uh, functions will be equal, okay? So be very careful with that, okay? Now that we kind of identify Let's look at the answer choices, right? For example, letter A, it says the graph of f of x and g of x opened downward. Is that true? I'm going to... Are they both downward? No, right? One is downward, but the other one is upward. So A cannot be my answer. What about B? What is one keyword? 
that brings your attention. Well, it says that the graph of f of x is going to be what? Narrower than the graph of g of x. And is that true? Can we say that one is narrower than the other one? And the answer is no. We agree that they are both exactly the same whiteness, right? Okay, so letter B cannot be my answer either. What about C? It says that they both have the same y-intercept. And now remember that that's going to help you to decide how can I decide if they both have the same y-intercept or not. Well, think about where the graph is going to be, okay? So we're going to come back and maybe graph it so that you can picture that. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw a coordinate plane just so that it can help us graph my functions, okay? I think it's very, very helpful if we can actually graph them, right? So I'm going to start with the parent function because it's very important that you know what's happening. So this is my parent function, right? And what's going to happen is that my first one says that it goes two units to the right and six units up. So I'm going to go from here, two units to the right. So that would be one, two, and then six up. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So my vertex will be somewhere over here. Okay. And I'm going to say that this is how wide is this going to be. Okay, so it should be the same thing than my other one, okay? Okay, sorry, I had to kind of do it again. I didn't quite like the first one, sorry. So that will be my first one, right? This will be my f of x. Okay, now what about g of x? So we have it down here. So that one we said that it goes 2 to the right, so it's still 2 to the right, but 6 down. So that will be 1 two, three, four, five, and six down. Okay, so it's going to be somewhere over here. But what do I know about the second one? This one is not going to go upward. It's going to go downward, right? Something like this. So my letter C was saying that they both have the same y-intercept. Is that even possible? No, right? Because one is facing up and the other one is facing downward, so the y-intercept will be very much different from each other, right? But this sketch is going to help us confirm that letter D is the answer, because look what it says. It says that they both have the same axis of symmetry, okay? So remember, axis of symmetry is where the, the line that crosses the vertex. So think about this one. Look, it goes through there. And it's true, the line of symmetry is exactly the same for both of them, right? Now think about it, why? Because both of them have the same, uh, they have the same, they, they're both going to the right, two units. So it doesn't matter the one when six up and the other one went six down. What is going to matter here is that both of them went two to the right. Therefore, my x value for the vertex is going to be right here. This one is 2 and positive 6. And the one down here is still 2, but a negative 6. So the x value was the same. And remember, the x value is the axis of symmetry. Therefore, our answer, it is letter D for this one. So notice how the sketch kind of really, really helps. Right, guys? Awesome.